guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we'll be doing a hair update from my last video and also a hair care video. So I just want to get started with that. So first I'm just going to let you guys know exactly how I do my hair, what I what products I use to basically take care of it. Um, right now I am using extensions and I will be posting a video on how I blend in my blunt hair to my extensions a little bit later on this week. Uh, so let's just get started. So the first thing that I do use is I do use the L'Oreal uh, Hair Experts Total Repair and it says just number five. Um, shampoo and conditioner. This is a conditioner right here. I also do use a shampoo and I use this on a regular basis. I wash my hair maybe about twice a week or um, a little bit more in case if my hair is a little bit extra oily that week. So I do use this shampoo and conditioner and honestly this is one of the main shampoos that I've always used for like I don't even know how long. Ever since it came out I've been using it just because this one does keep my hair um, moisturized and I don't feel like it leaves my hair crazy dry afterwards and it's fairly inexpensive I believe for the big one it's about four dollars or five dollars around the area for one so you're getting like the conditioner and the shampoo for about ten bucks which which isn't even that bad honestly because I spend more money on other crap you know what I mean just saying. After I use the shampoo and conditioner while I'm still in the shower, I do use the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Conditioner and I feel like this, uh, I do leave it in for 3 minutes and honestly ever since I started using this product, I had the smaller one at first, ever since I started using this product, it's actually a, has done wonders for my hair. Like it does really leave my hair soft and I can't believe I didn't use this before and it's so cheap. That's what it just my shock is that this does work and it's like three bucks as well, something like that. But honestly, I would suggest you guys pick this conditioner up because I feel like it does do justice and it does help your hair out a lot. After that, um, I get out of the shower and my friend actually gave me this. I don't even know what the heck how to say this. Salarm Cosmetics. I don't even know you guys. So it's a leave-in conditioner and I use this actually after I get out of the shower and all I do is just put like maybe a hazelnut size uh, glob in my hand and I just put it through the ends of my hair and in the back where my hair is a little bit uh, shorter just because of the damage. So I do do use this but um, before I used to just use these two together and honestly the difference I would say would be when I started using this uh, con three minute conditioner. I feel like that's when my hair just went to the top, you know, like super soft, super healthy looking and everything like that. After that, after I'm done with all these like products over here, I just do spray the leave-in conditioner and I do sometimes spray this throughout like days that I don't wash and my hair is getting like crazy like tangly I do just spray the ends but not a lot just because I've noticed if I use an excessive amount of this it kind of does make my hair oily so yeah I do use this also but for my heat protectant I also do use this Tresemme heat protector and I spray this before and lastly for um, my oily days where I don't have time to dry my hair I do use the Psst dry shampoo and this is actually one of the best dry shampoos I've ever used it actually does what it's meant to do and this time I only got a travel pack because I found it at like a I don't even know what store it was, maybe Walgreens. So I just bought it and I really do love this dry shampoo. So this is what I normally use for my aunt, like for my roots when it's my hair is like crazy oily. So now that you guys know the products that I use, I also normally do dry, um, straighten my hair with the Revlon straightener and it's fairly inexpensive, it's about 20 bucks and it does leave your hair crazy silky smooth. So totally suggest this one as well. To the long awaited updated video and I understand that my video when I went to blonde to black or blonde to black brown. I got an excessive amount of questions. I still got questions I think through my Instagram, my Snapchat, and also um, the YouTube comments in that in that video. So I just decided to answer some questions. So let's just get started. 
So I'm about to just go through the comments and I'll answer a few questions. Okay, so here is my video and now I'm in the comment section of this video, so let's just do this. A lot of people were like, I love blonde, but I hate the upkeep. So, like, yeah. That's the one thing is when I had the blonde hair, it was a lot of excessive um, going back to the salon. I was going back to the salon probably like three every three months and I was bleaching my hair a lot. So a lot of my hair ended up um, being basically broken off so it it really sucked just because my hair was really really long and, and it ended up becoming short where now I have a blunt cut that's about here you can probably see some of the hair so my hair is like excessively short now so I got extensions to make my hair long you know what I mean so let's read some questions here alright so it's can you please tell us if the color fades away after washing your hair over and over again so when I had done my hair this time, it was a black brown, and yeah, it did. I honestly, the color started to fade away maybe about five to six washes afterwards, and that's what I noticed because my extensions wouldn't match my actual hair color anymore, especially where the my hair was like really, really blonde, which is towards the end. It was a lot of light brown that was showing through. So that's what the issue was. And what I ended up doing was dyeing my hair that color one more time. And I ended up still having that same issue. So I ended up dyeing my hair um, black. So I ended up getting the Revlon. And this was the exact box that I had used. Um, and I got just the color black. And I ended up dyeing my hair that color. So afterwards that I dyed my hair that color, um, I dyed it just that one time and my hair hasn't faded as quickly as before let's see and someone says I hope it doesn't get green later after repeated washing no my hair wouldn't get green afterwards um, just because it was a black brown I, I guess I would kinda understand if it was like a lighter color but my hair didn't get green if anything it just got a light brown after the ends um, so yeah, that was my main question was did it fade and honestly from my own personal experience I just ended up dyeing my hair black because I just didn't want to deal with my hair fading and I honestly wanted to keep it at a certain you know color consistently either way even when I personally dye my hair black it'll fade back to my natural uh, brown color so I don't really have to keep the upkeep just because it basically like after a few washes it doesn't stay black black it just stays like a consistent um, dark brown color and that's the color I wanted to achieve so that's why I just went straight for black afterwards and yeah someone had asked what am I using to deep condition and I guess the deep conditioning would be the Aussie um, just the three minutes extra when I'm in the shower. So someone just wrote, I'm about to dye my hair black and mine currently is blonde, brown with blonde highlights. But my friend, all say I should go dark brown, but I had that before. I don't know what to do. Help me. So Janelle, <laughs> um, honestly, that's more of your personal preference just because going black is a commitment. It's not something that you can really go back from as quickly as you could do with another color so that's more of your am I ready to go a certain color and not come back with it for a really long time unless you really want to mess up your hair you know what I mean so with me it's like yeah no I know this is a color I'm gonna want for a couple years so I'm okay I'm set um, a lot of people did say my hair looks healthier and honestly I do feel like it does and I like really hated the blonde because it honestly like in certain lighting it just looks so bad like I just couldn't do it. Someone asked, uh, I'm thinking of doing my hair like that, does it damage your hair, does it need, do you, does it need to dye your roots all the time if you're, if you have dark hair and just need, just need darker? Um, Okay, so anytime you're da anytime you're dyeing your hair, you're damaging your hair. That's just straight up. Like the, you're dyeing your hair. It's in the name. Like you're dyeing. You're killing your hair right now because you're dyeing your hair. You know what I mean? So you're gonna have some damage with your hair. It just depends. Afterwards, my salon lady like she'd always tell me like, okay, I'm doing this to your hair, but it's your 
responsibility to basically take care of your hair after you leave the salon. And it's true, it's your responsibility, you have to take care of your hair, you have to maintain it, and if you don't, it's gonna damage. And I honestly don't dye my hair, my roots, just because my hair is a really, really dark brown, so you can't even tell the difference. Maybe in just certain lighting, you can, so it's honestly up to you. I honestly wouldn't dye my hair really dark, a dark color if you have like blonde or like a really really light brown hair just because I know you could see the roots to that. Someone just asked how long did you leave it in? I think I believe this one I left it in for about 30 minutes and the other one as well because it's the same I, th I believe it was the same brand. And I believe that's I just yeah after this a lot of people it's the repetitive questions. Um, So hopefully I updated you guys on this hair video that I had and you guys got to see what kind of products I use for my hair. Uh, hopefully it was helpful if you guys are new to my channel. Hi, welcome. And if you guys are coming back and you guys are subscribers, well hello. Uh, so yeah. So if you guys want to see more of me or have any more questions, you guys could uh, follow me on Instagram or Snapchat. Um, so yeah. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later. Bye.